Hey, it's a game day. Elliot Harrison with first ballot Hall of Famer Rod Woodson. I'd love it if Rod could teach some of the defensive backs that are going to be playing uh, the Falcons-Cowboys game how to cover. Uh, Rod, if you're a defensive back and you're coming off game tape where the opposing quarterback completed 31 of 35 passes, do you, do you just throw it in the trash and not watch it? Do you try to watch and learn? Uh, what do you do in a situation like that? Atlanta's secondary was terrible last week. They were, um, they did play bad. Um, you know, you got to think about both of these defenses. So Raheem Morris is, you know, he, he got promoted to the defense coordinator last year. He's returned, he returned this year. You got Mike Nolan, who's the new defense coordinator for the Dallas Cowboys. Both of these guys are trying to figure out, remember, there's no off season. There's no preseason. There's not, everybody's trying to figure out what their players can do the best and what they're going to call within the games to highlight their abilities. Well, you know, obviously you, you got to tell your DBs if you're Raheem Morris, but no seams, no posts, no goals. That's a golden rule in the secondary in the National Football League for every defense. Yeah. And they just can't give up those big plays. I mean, it was fourth down, they gave up a touchdown. Like you can't give that. So I, I, I think the defense, they're, they're a work in progress for both those teams. And I think you got to go back to the offenses. They're going to feed Zeke for the for Dallas, and then you got you got you got Matty Ice. Matty Ice still can play, and Julio Jones is still hard to cover. Yeah, it's it's hard to trust either one of these teams right now. Every time you watch a game, it's like, oh, the Cowboys' offensive line, the best offensive line in football. These aren't the same guys. Okay, when they when they were named the best offensive line in football was 2014 and 2016. You were talking about Tyron Smith at left tackle, Ronald Leary at left guard, Travis Frederick at center, Zach Martin at right guard, and Doug Free was right tackle. Well, guess what? Three of those guys are gone. They're gone. So this is not the same line. Uh, the linebackers, Vander Esch is hurt. Sean Lee's not going to be back now for quite some time. And uh, Jalen Smith did not play well last week. So I, I don't really trust the Cowboys defense in this game. So if you're betting this game, Here's my advice. Don't, don't. The over under on this game is right about where it should be. And I, I think it's 52 or 50, 53, I think is the over under. And as far as the line, the spread, I don't trust either team. And if I don't know enough about either team, then I'm gonna wait until I have more knowledge uh, on that. But uh, I will, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say Dallas wins. I have no idea by how much, but I'm gonna say Dallas wins. What do you say? Yeah, I'm a Dallas guy. I think they're going to feed Zeke, um, you know, and I, I think that'll be enough to get the victory. You're a Dallas guy now. I'm not really a Dallas is... guy, but I'm just I'm going with Dallas. Oh, okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure on that. All right, this is the game day, and are you in?